the ladies were protesting about having American missiles on English soil. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was a peaceful protest. All they were doing were camping outside the perimeter of the American base. There was no violence, no swearing, no shouting. It was a peaceful protest. Mm -hmm. And it was found that from the American base, the ladies were being microwaved. Uh, and it was actually measured they were being microwaved to make them sick. And in fact, when the figures came out, there was a disproportionate amount of tumours, personality changes, suicidal tendencies of the ladies. They were deliberately microwaved uh, by the Americans for protesting about their base. Uh, as... Um, uh, you know, with one pulse frequency, you can just make people so suicidal, they can't be bothered to act like a demonstrator anymore. All they want to do is sleep or lay in bed all day. So, um, <clears throat> so if you're targeting demonstrators, you, you make them suicidally depressed, uh, and they, they're not—they don't care about demonstrating anymore because they're too upset. Whereas if you want to cause a specific psychiatric illness, <clears throat> you would have an infrared device that followed the person and you would link it to a, a pencil-thin microwave source. So the microwave beam would always target a specific gland or a specific part of the brain or an eye or a heart. Uh, so you, you would have them being targeted from the government. Uh, they, I mean, to put it simply, they did all the research, they knew the dangers, and then they decided to lie to the public for no other reason than to, prov to save themselves with lawsuits and to make money for industry. And that's written down, and I've got that written down. Okay. Um, so, for the last <clears throat> 40 years, the government, the English government, has been lying to the people. And the American government, the Canadian, the Australian, they have been lying. Uh, they have been lying to protect industry, protect their profits, to protect themselves from lawsuits. Uh, so it, it, they are really just liars, <clears throat> and, and it's provable. I, I, I made a statement in Birmingham, in this country, probably 15 years ago, uh, and I haven't changed it since. And I've said that I believe that this industry and the part of the government which is encouraging them will be responsible for more civilian deaths and suffering than all the terrorist groups in the world ever. And with the growth of the industry over the last 15 years, I would say now that these people are probably going to cause more death and suffering than the entire Second World War. And is that genocide? Yes, without a shadow of a doubt. And are they going to get away with it? Yes, because they are untouchable. They are outside the law. Who is actually behind those decisions? Is this sanctioned by the WHO? Sanctioned by the World Health Organization, without a shadow of a doubt. It is the same people. Um, it's the same people sit on the ICNAP certificate. They sit on our government's health protection agency, sit on the World Health Organization. Uh, it's the same people. It's the same people. There's probably no more than 20 of them. <clears throat> But they, yes, they are going to, in my opinion, commit the worst genocide this planet has ever known. Not just people, but animals, plants. They are probably going to cause more destruction Uh, than a global war 
and in several hundred years time uh, people will look back whoever survives and look at what we try to do to stop them 